Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, today I will give you the answer to the burning question. Should you buy the Fujinon 90mm or the Viltrox 85mm? Now should you go ahead and spend around 950 euros to buy the native Fujinon 90mm f2 lens? Or should you spend less than half of that and go and buy the Viltrox 85mm f1.8? The answer to that question it's pretty difficult to give. The Fujinon 90mm F2 comes in at 645 grams. It has weather sealing so you can shoot in any kind of weather condition from dusty desert to Antarctica, shooting in the rain, shooting whenever you want, wherever you want. And it has linear motors which make your autofocus especially in video a lot smoother. The build quality is very good it feels really pleasant in the hand and it feels like a professional piece of equipment. In terms of image quality it is very good it's very sharp the bokeh it's really really different than the 85 millimeters I would say it's much more pleasant but the bokeh it's really a small detail honestly but it is bokehlicious you know the only bad thing i feel like saying about this lens is the fact that the aperture only opens at f2 if it went to like 1.8 1.4 i think it would have been perfect nobody would have had anything to say about it that and the price <laughs> the viltrox on the other hand comes in at 450 grams. It has a maximum aperture of f1.8, which lets in a little bit more light than the Fujinon, but it's not that much to make a really big difference. It does not have weather sealing, but image quality coming out of this lens is really great. It's crisp and sharp. Although the bokeh is not the same as Fujinon, it is less pleasing to the eye, I would say. I'm an avid headshot photographer, I've worked on different projects, I've shot hundreds if not thousands of portraits and I have always used an 85mm lens for my headshots. I have owned the 85mm Viltrox since 2020 and I've shot commercial projects, I've shot my own personal projects, I've shot street photography, headshots, product photography, I've shot a little bit of things with it. I've had time to, to test it. Recently, I've had the opportunity to test the 90 millimeters as well. A photography shop from Verona and shot have been kind enough to lend me for free the 90 millimeters to test it out for a day and a half. And I shot everything that I could think of from portraits to street to landscape and some uh, video. I have used two X-T4s with the exact same settings and I put them together. The results were interesting because as expected the Fujinon was better. By how much? Well that depends on your budget and your expectations. If you have the money and you can justify the cost and you want the best of the best of the best of the quality then it's no brainer you should buy the 90 millimeters. If I had the money, I would buy the 90 millimeters. Even though it has an f2 aperture and the Viltrox has an f2.0, I would still get the 90 if I had the money and if I could justify the cost at the moment. But that being said, the Viltrox is not bad at all. It's actually quite good. So far, I've never had problems. As I said, I've shot pro personal projects, street photography, client jobs and let me tell you this they've never said oh my god this is bad quality or something like that or online people won't even notice that you've shot with a less expensive lens as a matter of fact here are some shots that i've taken with the viltrox and with the fujinon you can take a look at them and uh, see for yourself if you like it or not which one you like better which not if you want a pixel peep photos are available on my website and on buymeacoffee.com and let me know in the comments what you think the Viltrox is not a bad lens, it's just that it doesn't really have the linear motors for shooting video and you can see that, you can see the difference, it's like night and day difference between those two lenses. The Fujinon is so much smoother and it doesn't go back and forth, back and forth until it gets focused. And yes, I have changed the autofocus settings but it made no difference. The weather resistance, I'm gonna be honest, I've shot with the 85 in bad weather conditions I've shot in Ireland with the rain and it didn't let me down. It's still working so I would say it's not that big of a deal I suppose but if you want some peace of mind yeah 
the 90s better. The Viltrox is build quality is not bad at all. It's actually quite good. It only lacks in terms of aperture ring, which it doesn't have. And having the aperture ring, once you get used to the Fujinon lenses, it's a thing that you miss every now and again, but it's definitely not a deal breaker at all. And the other thing would be the lens hood. The lens hood could be improved. When you attach it on, it kind of feels like it's going to snap out of it. But other than that, just like the Fujinon, it feels like a proper professional lens. Now with the image quality, I think this is more of a thing that us photographers and video makers, um, you know, worry about. If you show these pictures to a normal human being who doesn't have anything to do with photography, I don't think they will notice that big of a difference. If you take the same photo taken with, you know, both lenses and you post them online, people are going to be like, what's the difference? I mean, of course, physically it's going to be, the 90 is going to be a little bit more zoomed in, but other than that, in terms of quality, I don't think anybody's going to notice that big of a difference. Of course, when you look closer, there is something about the 90 that makes it better. The quality in the image, I cannot explain what or why, but it just looks better. But we are talking about, you know, two different markets here. One costs double than the other. It is expected to come with perks. Whether you have the money and you can afford to buy it or not, whether you can justify the cost and the, the lens, whether you want one more than the other, I think the most important thing after all is to just focus on something and shoot and work on a project, work with clients. I think the most important thing is to photograph after all, whether it's with the Viltrox or the Fujinon. Dude, I really like talking about cameras and if you're here, I, it means that you also like cameras. So why not check out this video right here or this one right here, cause they are pretty fucking good. See ya.